Welcome back to the King's Daughter Medical Center Sports Zone Friday night. I'm Adrian Robbins. He's Norman C. Wright the third, and we're diving right back into the action here, heading to Kentucky for yet another good matchup this week. We're full of them. Oh, we are. East Cal Carter at Ashland. Look at this little show sportsmanship. That's for the coin Aww. toss. Now, the Tomcats have possession. Blake Hester has the ball going around the outside. Watch him show his moves. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A dodge and a jump. He gets all the way through that line for the touchdown. That's excellent. Kicks good. 7-0 Ashland. Later in the quarter, Raiders have to punt. Isaac Keynes is making the return. He's diving, driving actually, right down the middle to avoid all the defense. Whew. It's kind of the same story. He goes all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. The extra Wrap point, up. good That's what again. that coach is saying. 14-0 Ashland. Next time, cap possession, Keontae Pittman gets the ball, and he goes for, say it with me, a touchdown. <laughs> Ashland ends the first quarter 21 to nothing, and it just <laughs> goes on in there. Ashland takes this win. It's a shutout, 49 to nothing. Ashland getting a touchdown. It's like deja vu over yeah, and over just again. Just keeps happening. Can't the Tomcats don't hate it though. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going all the way to Woodrow Wilson now to check on the Black Eagles. That's a far way away. Tonight in Class AAA, the Woodrow Wilson Flying Eagles return to action, hoping to get their record to 500. Eagles were on their home field playing host to South Charleston. Now first quarter, quarterback Peyton Sheehan fakes the handoff and keeps the ball for himself, finds the open lane, and is off to the races. He's brought down on the sidelines. Now great field position for the Flying Eagles. Woodrow is going to have to settle for the field goal, though. The kick is up, and you can't see the ball go through the post. There it is, but you know it's good. Now fast forward a few possessions. Woodrow lines up to punt for fourth down, but it's a fake. Logan Cook takes the snap. But unfortunately, the Black Eagles will bring him down short of a first down. It's a turnover over there with South Charleston. Woodrow Wilson, no final on this one quite yet. We'll show it to you in the post show on Facebook. Logan at Scott, it's the first quarter. We're in the script scoreless. Scott's ball, Connor White handoff to John John Hamilton. Hamilton goes in for the touchdown. Look at John John go. The Scott students having a ball. They love it. Logan's ball next. Charles Felder taking the snap. And he opts to run around the outside. He just goes for it. He's got that touchdown. We are still in the first quarter. It's Scott's ball again. Connor White handoff to, again, John John Hamilton. He's got another touchdown. And the Scott cheerleaders, you'll see him. The hardest working athletes at this game tonight, outside, of course, John John <laughs> Hamilton. Logan then, Charles Felder, drops, recovers the ball. And hey, you know what? Felder gets a touchdown from that. Logan with the comeback win tonight. 30 to 27 against Scott. Ooh. Well, Tosia at Mountain View, the Golden Knights have had an impressive offense this season, averaging more than 42 points a game, but defense the name of the game here. We're going to start in the first quarter. Tosia with the ball, running back David Crump, getting stopped by the Golden Knights, defense for no gain. Later in the first, Mountain View with the ball, and Terry Hedden with the stiff arm and gain of 15. For a first down for the Golden Knights, not too bad. A few plays later, Golden Knights quarterback throws it up and deep, and the Rebels come away with the interception and 10-yard return. Now we're going to move on a little later in the first. Golden Knights have the ball again, and Terry had in a 60-yard run to the end zone, but it gets called back. Ooh. Mount View takes the win by the astronomically high score of Six to zero. Six yeah. That's called defense win ball games. It's halftime for us. We're taking another break. Exactly. Halftime is never complete, though, without our band of the week from Winfield High School this week.